Hi guys, this is Uj and today we're gonna look at another problem, lead code A to 9 consecutive number sum. So this is a pretty interesting problem. So let's read the problem. Given an integer n, um, written the number of ways you can write n as a sum of consecutive positive integers. So, okay, let's see this example. So you're given an integer n and n is basically the sum and your consecutive positive numbers so it's gonna so like one two three four five because if you want to reach till five um you have to start from one and go till a number less than five that's four and then and then the consecutive numbers are going to lie between that because you cannot have a number which is greater than 5 over here and that's going to sum up to 5 that's not going to happen so and the numbers that you choose are going to be consecutive right so it cannot be 5 it'll be like 3 or 4 or 2 3 4 or 1 2 3 some numbers which are consecutive right so okay so one way could be i do something like i have a for loop from i equal to one to n minus one and then i choose the starting point this is like the starting point and um, and then i have another for loop that's gonna be another number and that's going to be from i equal to from j equal to i plus 1 to n minus 1 and then and then your sum is basically going to be um the sum is going to be like the sum is going to be s initially that's the starting point and it's going to be j it's going to be plus j so i mean you're just gonna keep adding j because you want, you want numbers like one plus two plus three plus four till you reach five or you reach a number till your sum is greater than or equal to five if 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 it's equal to five like one plus two plus three like two plus three is equal to five then you stop then you don't take four because you reach five and then you have to find the number of ways so you have a counter let's say like a counter one and that you, and you keep incrementing count if you see your sum is equal equal to n now that is one way to do it but let's just go to another way i mean we're using two for loop and uh, they're definitely gonna get a time limit exceeded let me show you why because you see your n is still 10 raised to power 9 so you have a so that's going to be 10 raised to power 9 into 10 raised to power 9 because n squared is time complexity and that's going to be like really bad so if we want to do something about it what we can do is okay but if you see you're taking numbers let's say you take a number x so what's the next number x plus 1 what's the next number x plus 2 what's the next number x plus 3 till x n so if you see this is basically an arithmetic progression now let's dive into mathematics about it so so this is basically like you increment by one one so you had a d like if you see the sum of an ap is uh, 2a plus n minus 1 d divided by 2 okay your a is the starting point starting point d is the difference and um, so if you see for every starting point for this question your d is always 1 your d is always equal to 1 okay you don't know the n the n is basically the number of elements okay so if i have a for loop from i equal to one 
because I want to find the star and your sum is always n sum is basically n and if I have a for loop from i equal to 1 to n minus 1 and uh, I so I take i as a starting point let's take it a convenience and then I always calculate the sum I'm gonna get a quadratic equation like let me just let me just make this easier for you so this is basically 2n plus n to oh oh because there's a confusion between this and this n so i'm going to take this n s so this is going to be sum 2s plus n plus 2a plus n minus 1 d so now this is going to be 2s plus 2a n plus n square um minus d n now you know a because a is always the starting point from this for loop d is equal to 1 so this boils down to 2n plus n square minus n and then this is going to be um, so this is a again we can't remove that so this would become the quadratic equation that we're going to form uh, for each a now the problem is that if we solve the quadratic equation we're gonna get we're gonna get n two values of n and um, because i think in quadratic equation if you solve you have two values because it's something you get two values in quadratic equation and um, there's one more way to solve it if you don't want to solve a quadratic equation is that okay how about so if i have numbers like one two three four five six and then seven and i want to see how many times you can form eight okay so if let's say we choose four numbers over here okay but if i increase the starting point next time i'm not going to choose four numbers because if you see the value of the numbers are increasing if the value of the numbers are increasing the count of the numbers are going to decrease you know what i mean like like if it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6 okay let's say i increase the amount and now the amount is basically okay no let's see an example if probably something an example um okay like this example 2 plus 3 plus 4 forms 9 if i increase the starting point that then it's going to be 4 plus 5 so basically for each starting point your n is going to be distant like you're going to have unique n right so so in the quadratic equation we don't have to form that we basically need a for loop for for the n that's going to be n from 1 to, uh, to i mean it's going to be 2 because it, because n would be 1 if we take the same number like 9 is 9 and then i mean 9 is equal to 9 right but we need 9 plus 8 plus 7 like there has to be minimum two numbers so we take n equal to 2 we take that and then from i equal to 2 to n minus 1 and then for each value of i i'm basically gonna put this inside the quadratic equation and i'm gonna check if there's a valid a if a is an integer then i know that um, this is then i can solve the problem so it's basically is that 2s uh, minus plus n minus n square uh, and then divide by 2n this is a so if i i know the value of n i know the value of s that's given and uh, if i put this and i get an integer a and it's a positive integer if this is greater than uh, greater than zero and it's an integer so i know this is a valid n and then i can increase the counter that's gonna keep note of how many starting point do i have through which i can form a consecutive numbers that's gonna sum up till s and um, 
that's how we can solve this problem so thank you so much please hit the bell icon like share and subscribe